Hello there. My name is Mike Filman, and I'm the Education Coordinator here at WGBU Public Media. And I would like to bring you a few moments in science. And hopefully you've enjoyed our last couple of episodes we've done with air pressure and how air pushes down on us on the Earth. And what I'm going to do is, you know, it's fun to see that, but hopefully this one will really show you that concept of air pressing down. What I have here is just simply a two liter bottle with water in it. And I put food coloring in there so that you can see it a little bit easier, all right? And what I'm gonna do, if you notice, obviously the air is pushing down and you don't see anything happening right now. Even if I unscrew the lid, everything is still there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a couple of push pins, like so, and take those and just pop some holes in the bottom of the two liter bottle. And you would think, boy, while I'm doing that, there should be water coming out and squirting out. And there is a little bit right now because I'm pressing in on the bottle. But when I'm done pressing and making those holes, you think, oops, lost the pin. <laughs> what I'm going to do is keep going here and get those again. So now I've got about five or six holes in the bottle. Notice the water is not coming out at all, all right? Once I remove the cap, when the cap is on the soda bottle, the air in the atmosphere that is pressing down on us on Earth can't push down into the bottle. When the cap is loosened or taken off, the air pushes down on the water and the water squirts out through the holes in the bottle. Here we go, like so. All right. Once the cap goes back on, I've stopped that air that's pressing down on us. That air is not pressing into that water anymore. It has stopped. Again, when the cap is loosened, the air is pressing down, forcing the water out through the holes. And that is further proof that air has pressure and air pushes down on us on Earth. I hope you enjoyed these few moments in science. My name is Mike Filman. Thank you very much for watching, and please, science is fun, but you must respect science. Thank you.